Hello, I want to share. My name is Elder Tracy Suggs, and I want to share just a brief testimony about a couple of weeks ago, around April the 15th, I suffered a AC shoulder separation when I was walking and fell in the parking lot. And I actually took a dive. I fell over some uneven pavement. And I actually took a dive and my right shoulder actually went shoulder first into the pavement. And when I fell, I actually jammed my right shoulder into the pavement and caused a AC shoulder separation, which was very painful. And I went to the ER the very next day um, because the the, show, the pain got worse overnight. And so that was a Friday. And so on that Saturday, I went to the a ER because the pain got worse overnight. And so I went to the ER. They told me it was an AC shoulder, uh, shoulder separation after they did the x-rays. Um, the doctor gave me some pain medicine, gave me a shot for pain because I was in such pain. Then they sent me home with no pain medication, warning, you know, hoping that I could manage with over-the-counter pain meds. Well, the pain got so bad that I could not, so I contacted my primary care doctor who then gave me um, prescription pain meds, narcotics, if you will, to help to manage the extensive pain that I was having. The ER doctor did sling my right shoulder because he wanted to keep that shoulder in place. And they told me the significance of managing the pain in that shoulder, keeping that arm in place in the sling, wearing the sling most of the day, only taking it out maybe twice a day, just to do some exercises to keep the arm from becoming stiff. Um, but the goal was hopefully to prevent any uh, surgery for the shoulder. I went back to the doctor on 4.30, on April the 30th, no, on April the 30th, I'm sorry. I went to my brother's birthday party. I went to Prophet Troy's birthday party. And when I saw him, he said to me at the end of the party, he said, Tracy, I did not know that they actually had your arm in a sling. And I said, uh, yeah, it was actually like a real injury, like a, a for real, for real injury in which I've been in a lot of pain. The pain kept me up at night. I couldn't sleep, couldn't work. It's like been a real, real pain. And so he immediately stretched out his arm. He laid hands on my shoulder and he began to pray and rebuke the pain and any potential surgery that I could have. He just began to pray. And as he was praying, I did feel like I was about to collapse under the prayer. But I remember that my actual biological sister, also Pastor Teresa, was holding me on one side. And then I also remember another young man from her church who was standing there behind me who made sure I did not collapse. He was standing there. And I went back to the doctor on May the 4th fourth for my follow-up appointment. And so that doctor gave me a series of exercises to test the strength of my shoulder to see how I was doing and, and how the pain level was for me. Well, following uh, Pastor Troy, Prophet Troy laying hands on me, I did not have a need for the sling. I noticed like two or three days later that the deep throbbing pain that I had that I no longer was having. And so I pulled my arm out of the sling and I noticed that I was no longer having that deep throbbing pain that I was having. And so I've not worn the sling since. And so on 5-4, when I went to my doctor, uh, my orthopedic specialist, what they ended up telling me is that he saw no need for surgery um, for my shoulder. He also told me that he saw no need for physical therapy and they sent me home with what they call in-home care which was just a furtherance of at-home exercises just to continue the strengthening of my shoulder but I can truly say that that was on 5-4 and today is 5-8 and my shoulder is perfectly fine thanks be unto God that I feel completely fine and I'm grateful because when you have to do those appointments those appointments are um, although I have great insurance, those appointments, you still have a copay, which I just don't have that investment into a copay. But thanks be unto God, he knows all things. Not only that, he is a healer. And I was believing God for healing. I was believing him that I would not have to have surgery 
on this shoulder and thankfully God heard my cry and he used Prophet Troy to lay hands on me and I'm grateful that his gift is alive, that the Lord God is working through him and that the gift of the Lord prevailed in my life and that I don't have to have surgery first and foremost. And so I'm grateful and I hope that this testimony can help to bless someone else to know that if you're believing God for the miracle of healing, continue believing. Um, I've been known to uh, under-exaggerate my pain level. That's because I have a high tolerance for pain and I just try to uh, take the pain when I have it. But I know that that shoulder was keeping me up at night. Uh, even when the pain was great. And so I'm thankful that I don't have that pain in my shoulder anymore. To God be the glory.